So, JD, science design. Yep, we were talking about this. We yesterday. were. Well, we, yes. we we do meet, and the listeners are very very happy to join. Well, we're happy if they would join us. Yes. Keep an eye on the Facebook page, mm-hmm. or send us a message. Uh, look for the Wild Show on the Facebook, and we will tell you where we are on a Wednesday. But it'll be somewhere not too far away from the centre of Exeter, sort of Queen Street area. Some somewhere somewhere we can find coffee. Anyway, um, we are, that is to say, JD and myself, we are the YouTube um, top search result for Design Science DJ. Are uh, we? We are. Gosh. Yeah, we still are. Do I get a medal? Well, I think we should do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, plaque if on any, the wall. If anybody's looking for a, a Design Science <laughs> yeah. DJ... Yeah, you can send them all to me. <laughs> yes, this is, how, this is how it works. Um, but actually, the Science DJ... Uh, has, has sort of faded away a bit that hasn't been followed up but there was one um, there was somebody posted a, a, a video saying science teaching uh, could go the way of being a DJ because there's so much stuff out there mm-hmm. the, the, the role of a, a lecture convener or lecturer uh, was to find stuff from various sources and I thought I thought that was very interesting and, and, the, and they um, and then I thought well why can't there be a design science DJ so we're looking out for all this, all the stuff about design science, and then we will put it together. But my friend, um, my friend JD, uh, you 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 misunderstood. Well, you didn't misunderstand it. You understood it in a different way. I did. Yes, I I, I tend to go down the road of simplicity. <laughs> well, I'm not sure you do, JD, because your simplicity ideas turn out to be quite complicated, and we we try and resolve them, but we don't necessarily get very far. Well, they're just big, big words for something which you can say in one word. OK, well, you, That's thought, what I'm you thought it was about how to design being a DJ. It ended up being about, uh, could you apply design science to a show? And you, 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 you resisted this idea. Having, having come up with this idea, you thought it was um, c- quite unlikely. Yes, a bit loopy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a sort of um, a technical name. It's not a down-to-earth name, I think. No, and it's and it's not a science either. Doing a radio show. It's not really a science. I don't sit in school saying my subject is DJ <laughs> in science. No, no. Well, okay. Well, I don't, um, we'll see how they, we'll see how this goes. I don't see if there can be a social science. I would have thought there could be a, a, a radio a science, but we, we might come to that because anyway, what we worked out yesterday was that science design might make more sense if we if you sort of use design as part of what you're doing as science yeah. uh, and you 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 you've got a, a an image of science which I think comes from school yes it's sort of putting liquids together and then heating them up yes. and, and waiting Making for them a big bang a big bang <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> okay <laughs> so this is what we'd really like yes I, I, I would like to ask somebody to uh, demonstrate it to me, design science. Or science design. Or science design. Or design design. Or science 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 design. <laughs> I don't mind what it's called. Just, just somebody, um, you know, show me what it is. Okay. That'd be good interesting. So we would like, so we're going to start with actual science. Mm-hmm. And we would like a bang. <laughs> and we'd like the bang towards the toward, towards the end of the show, don't you think? Well, shall, shall, shall I get the builders upstairs to knock on the floor for us? <laughs> well, they That'd might the do, they might do that anyway. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's the bang. But that that would be quite random. <laughs> well, that would be reality. It would be very much reality. But mm. Is there any way we can predict when that might happen, or the drill might start up again? Well, you don't know. If you do an ex- experiment and then you're waiting for a bang, it could be anywhere between <laughs> one minute and hundred years. You know, so okay. Yeah, well, that's. I suppose that's a sort of science. But I was thinking mm. of more more controlled sort of science, whereby well, you don't um, know. You don't know the end result, do you? Really, in science. Well, yeah, well, yes. I think I think allegedly you do. I think I mean if you put two liquids together and heat them for a certain length of time, you you will get a bang. Yes, but how do you and, get the bang? 
Well, that, well, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're looking for a guest, aren't we? Mm. We would like a guest to, to yes, turn up. Definitely. Who could explain this, yes. how this might happen. Because yep. I think the science bit would be, they would say, well, yes, we, you want the bang towards the end of the show. Because Chris will be here about about past ten. Mm. Is he the science? Well, he might be the scientist. He, well, when I say <laughs> he'll be here at half past ten, he might be here at quarter past ten. He might <laughs> be here at quarter, quarter to eleven. Right. So that's the science, is it? But he will be here <laughs> in a standard distributed form <laughs> yeah. in terms of his arrival. Well, that's very technical. And that's Am I getting too technical you're now? Too technical. It's like having design science. It's very technical. <laughs> Well, no, we're going to stick with the science. We're going to right, design okay. the science. And by the time we've designed the science, mm. we'll be in a better position to understand what the design science is. So we need to know what is designing science. Is it putting two liquids together and stand back and get an explosion and work out why? Or is it something else? Is it, you know... Well, yeah, that's a, that we know that that's what we want to do, but we want to extend the design into who is going, who, who is going to do it because <laughs> we're not we're All maybe right. not able to do it and when are they going to do it and how do we make sure the bang is towards the end of the show which will let Chris know it's mm. time to stop and uh, the next people the next presenters the good mm. the bad and the ugly they 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 can arrive and the studio will be fine because the ba- we well that is the bang well <laughs> that's, that's what I feel you do yes I feel you th- that's you the bang they're the yeah. disturbance they're, yes <laughs> So, but we don't know when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. Well, it'll happen about <laughs> 20 to 12. Yes. What well, do you think? We, we don't know how, though. Well, we just need a smaller <laughs> bang <laughs> or noise. We d- it doesn't need to um, uh, move move much around physically. It just needs to make a loud noise. Mm-hmm. And to ha- well, I would I would like it to happen about 25 to 12. Right. right. So my question would be, can you predict... Mm-hmm. Given the liquids that you work with and the the temperature of the heat you apply, mm. and when you start the heat, how big how big a bang we're going to well, get? We've already got the heat. We, oh, it's very <laughs> hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> we've got you the think, heat. We think, don't need any more heat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. I'm so, up as it is. Right. So we're not going to have any more heat. No more heat. No. Okay. no. Well, that's part of our design. Yeah. Is so it? <laughs> well, it is. If we if we're specifying that. Oh yes. No, I'm just specifying. I'm not okay, doesn't so the, science. So there may be laboratories somewhere where you could have heat, but in this studio, there's enough heat. Well, this, I think that the working out the science bit is is actually know, <laughs> knowing where to switch it off and on. If that's we, if, that's if the science can, bit. If we can switch it off, yes, which we hope. Well, the heat, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we hope. No, that. well, we can't. But if we, if we knew how to do it, yes. Like, for instance, in the winter time, you put your, all your thermal underwear on and everything. Right. Yes. And then in the summer time, you think, oh, I, can't, I don't need to wear that. I can take it off. Right. So you've worked that one out. Okay. But there are certain things like, like this particular studio is a, a mystery to us in, in heat wise. <laughs> How would we... Yeah, we don't know how to make any colder, do we? No. Well, no. At the moment, we've well, got a, so we've got we're a look, fang going. So we're looking for a guest who's able to make a, a big bang of, well, that's to say, a loud noise hmm. without doing too much damage to the rest of the studio and can predict what time it will happen hmm. uh, without using any heat. Hmm. But if that's not possible, they, they, they could come back in the winter time. Yep. When, when the studio's cold. <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> It'd be even hotter. <laughs> Well, that would, be, that would be all right then. All oh, right. So I think we know. We, well, we're, get, we're getting towards a design of what, we, what, what sort of a bang we want. Mm. I can understand when you design something, mm. but I don't think I can get my head around how to design science, because science comes out of, you know, whatever the end result is. So you can't say, well, I'm going to put water and water together and create more water <laughs> because uh, I don't know more water is a thing. It may, may be evaporated by them. Well, so, it might have done. Hmm? Yes, it might have done. Hmm. But what you mean is you can't, you can't see that working in a show. Hmm. Well, how are the robots going to do it? Uh, I mean, a robot could listen to seven or eight of your 80s shows mm-hmm. on, uh, on Spreaker, on Access All Aerials, mm-hmm. and it could say, well, I know what, what 
tracks he's going to select next week, probably, and do a do a show mu- pretty much like your show. Well, if that's the case, then we we'll run into the studio tomorrow and I'll have a day off. <laughs> well, well, but I, do you I, want that? You see, that's the the human over versus over machine. So you think there's some element of your show that are, uh, could not be analysed by a, by a scientist using statistics and? Uh, but nobody knows what's going to happen. They don't. No, you see, if I said to you, well, look, I'm going to be saying this is it after the next song, then you would know. Yes, I'd know that then. Yes, then, but then, then that that be after the event, not before it. So you're not designing it. No, <laughs> not that bit. If you're sitting on. Where I am, you can see Mr. Pollard getting really puzzled about this. Well, I'm trying to think it through, <laughs> JT. I'm just trying to think it through. Mm. Well, so, that's good. So, if there if there if there are um, 73 sequences, mm-hmm. pre-mixed bits and pieces mm. that are in the archive somewhere, mm. um, could a scientist analyse which bits get used and make any predictions based on that? You can make predic- predictions, but you, that's not the outcast of the whole thing. Oh. Yes. So we don't know what the outcast is going to be, whether it be no bang or big bang. We don't. We don't. So so therefore you can't design it and say, well, uh, this is how it's going to be from number one to number ten, and then we know what the end result is going to be like because that's the whole bracket of the work. Okay. Mm. So in, in other words, we've still got to listen Yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, round about uh, eight o'clock. Yes, yeah, about eight o'clock. Okay. So it's a mystery, really. It's a mystery. <laughs> a song for you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to play a track now. Good idea. Yep. This is this is called um, "Long as I Live." It's by Tony Braxton. Mm-hmm. 